On sait les grandes fenêtres qu'il faut faire. Donc, on parle de 9F. So that's going to be 9.1 and 9.2. And then on Friday we'll do 9.3. So we've got a sample of 100 students at Tennyson Woods College plays Fortnite. 55 of them play Fortnite. Okay? Um, so part A, find the sample proportion. Find P hat. Well, P hat is equal to X on N. So 55 on 100 or 0 0.55. That's the probability of out of 100 people, one of them playing Fortnite, uh, 0.55. Okay, construct the confidence interval. So just like how we were doing confidence interval for continuous random variables, we have a formula for confidence interval for proportions. Okay, so we've got all the information we need to fill that in. And similarly, so we can do it manually, and similarly, there's a technique we can use on the calculator as well. Let's do the first one manually. So we're going to write the 95% confidence interval. We know it's 95% because of these values of Z, alpha, and 2, 1.96. Remember, that number can change, and so you can have different levels of confidence. So 95% confidence interval, we're going to have 0.55 take 1.96 times the square root of 0.55 times 0.45. Okay, one take P, or Q. On N, N is 100, and over here, I'm just going to put square root so you know that we're doing it. So it's the same time. And I'll calculate it. We've got 0 0.45. Interpret your answer. So all I've done is match that number, <coughs> got that, match that one, get that. Okay, what does it mean? So we've done a sample of a hundred students. We found 55 of them play Fortnite. Okay, so this is a sample, and remember we can use the sample to indicate some truth about the population. So here, this confidence interval, we are 95% confident that the true proportion of people that play Fortnite is somewhere between 0.45 and 0.648. So it could be as high as 64% based on our evidence here, or it could be as low as 45%. That's going to be our answer. Uh, part C. What does it say? Interpret your answer. The true proportion so we are 95% confident of that true proportion of students that play for one between 0 0.452 and 0 0.648. Okay, so it's just about judging uh, a claim. Judging a claim. Excellent. So, um, so let, I'll just show you how you use your calculator really quickly. Same steps. So, in statistics, we go into test, uh, sorry, into inter, interval, Z, and then one prop, because we're talking about proportions here, aren't we? And then it's going to pop up with confidence level. X and N. Okay, so I put in we want 95% confidence. Okay, you can have different values of confidence. We sampled 55 out of 100. 55 successes out of 100 tries. So that's how we can use our calculator to generate these confidence intervals. Good luck. Thank you.